is a quick video on how to get photos, videos from your iPhone to your computer. I'm going to use, do that by using the SanDisk iExpand flash drive. Alright, so firstly it's made up of two main parts. First, it's got the USB Type-A, or plug it into your computer, and then it's also got the lightning connection. We're going to plug this into my phone, copy a couple of photos and videos to it, and then get them onto my computer. First, you'll need to download the SanDisk app. You just go to your app store, and search, search for SanDisk. It shows up at the top. You can see I already got it installed, but if you don't, you just install it now. Now, now we'll simply just plug the lightning connection into the lightning port on the phone. So when it's plugged in, it'll pop up with a little request to either allow communication or ignore. So we're going to hit allow. And it brings up the app. And all we're going to be doing is copying files from the phone. So we tap copy files. And copy files. Uh, copy photos for my phone. All right, so then it just brings up your photo library. All you simply need to do is um, select the photos or videos that you want to take off the phone. So I'll just put the videos in the garden that I want. So once you've selected what you want, at the bottom you simply click Copy to expand. Uh, I expand drive, and if you want to, you can create a new folder, or you can just copy here straight away. I'm going to create a new folder called Garden. I'm going to copy the photos here. Now there'll be a progress bar at the top. This will show you how much more there is to go, and each file, once it's done, gets a little tick next to it. Okay, so once the copying is finished, it'll give you the option now to either Keep the photos on your phone or you can delete them. And I don't want to have duplicate files floating around, so I'm just going to hit delete and hit delete again. And great. And you're done. So now, now we just unplug drive and we we'll plug it into our computer. You can see now. Here they are. Now, this is a really good method for doing small file transfers. Uh, the iPhone's got a limit on it. Uh, it's unable to do to do transfer using that method for files that are bigger than four gig or longer than fifteen minutes. Um, there are other ways to get those larger files off, which I'll um, which I've done a video for, which I'm going to post up. Up or below.